Welcome all to a new update and as you can see I'm back in Amsterdam. I'm ready to roll, I'm ready to make updates for you as in this year we've already seen some serious movements of altcoins and I think 2022 is going to be massive. So here when I'm having the webcam on still ha um, happy new year and I'm definitely definitely ready to make some good content for this YouTube channel and for you as you are my subscriber and my watcher and you deserve the best of the best. But before we're going to continue, do not forget to subscribe and eat and like this YouTube update and check out my Twitter and Instagram where I'm providing daily updates on the markets. And we have been doing some updates earlier regarding Chainlink and Atom for instance, but also my portfolio of going into 2022. So what we're going to discuss today, the fact that Bitcoin is having some sideways action on support and the fact that Ethereum is actually showing more strength. So we're doing a regular market update and tomorrow we're going to dive into a topic regarding altcoins and why I think that they are actually going to explode. So let's head over to the charts. So when we're looking at the price action of Bitcoin at this point, we've got a few scenarios that we should be looking at. And the first one is definitely the one that we have been covering previously as well. It is a structure where the market starts to trend south, right? So we had this break south from 54k towards 42 and i think we have still bottomed out at this would be deep wick towards 42k given the fact that that is a crucial level of support here but what we did see since then is the bounce towards 52k sideways action lower highs lower lows testing support breakout after a double bottom was made and since then we have seen this beautiful rally um, with a retest towards 52k happening and that retest was a bearish rising wedge causing the new retest of support to be taking place here right so we've had a beautiful retest of 52k broke south lost the support at 49.5 rejected that level and since then we're still chopping around so the case is that we are pretty much doing the exact same as what we have been witnessing before and what we have been witnessing in the previous price actions as well. So we've got all those scenarios that we have made earlier um, in which we are also slamming on that support and then reversing, making a higher low and then the trend starts to switch. In this case, we've got the exact same. So there are two scenarios that we should be looking at when it comes to the price action of Bitcoin. First of all, We've got this scenario in which we're just bouncing south, testing the support, and then at the end, we take the actual the, uh, liquidity beneath the low, start reversing, and then we start overshooting, in which we take all the liquidity that we've got above those highs. So in this case, in the first one, we are cracking below support, uh, we are hanging there, we're taking the liquidity here, and then a fast reversal, which is comparable to the scenario that we've been making here in which we are taking um, at the low, flip the level for 46k once again, and then we start overshooting the price action towards the upside. The other scenario is that we quickly break out of this downtrend that we've got, start consolidating around 49.4k, so I would definitely argue that we break this trend, break above the lower time frame resistance of 48k, start consolidating here, and then we start overshooting, which is comparable to what we've been seeing with altcoins. Chainlink, Atom, Curve, multiple altcoins have been breaking out of that construction through which the weeklies are starting to wake up nicely too and through which uh, usually strength has to follow on Bitcoin as well. So in this case, we're going to have some sort of sideways consolidation here, hold above, above 48K and then we start a trend. In order to do so, you want to see a strong volume candle towards this resistance point and then just a minimal sideways action. So the difference with the scenario of taking the liquidity is that we're not doing that, but we're still making such a sideways scenario, just like we have been doing here, in which we are facing crucial resistance, which is around 49.4 before we start to continue moving and before we start to shift the trend towards an upwards momentum in this case. That's definitely what, definitely what I'm looking at with Bitcoin at this point. 
um, I think we still have two important support levels, which are 42 and 46k. And I think that we're actually in the process of holding those two and making ourselves ready for the next upwards run. Looking at Ethereum, the price action is quite similar. We've had um, the levels planned out or levels um, we have been writing them down earlier in which we said, okay, comparable to 49.4, we've also got this level here for Ethereum, which is 3.9K. I definitely want to see that break. If I am seeing that break, the overall consensus is that we're going to take the liquidity above 41.30 and that we're most likely continuing the upwards trend that we've actually been building on Ethereum at this point. Lower time frame, we are making higher lows, higher highs, through which most likely we are going to make the exact same. What is the level that I'm looking at to hold for Ethereum at this case? Um, I'd like to see it hold above 37.50. If that is going to be the case, I think we're going to test this crucial resistance that we have at 39.30 once again, and then we are breaking the actual trend to the upside. Looking at the structure overall, we are looking at a beautiful test of support for Ethereum in this green block. I think we are done. And I think that once we break through the level of 3.9K, which also a very important resistance level from previously, if we do, I think the trend is going to break and that we're going to be eager for buying the dip once again on Ether. Um, and then we are ready for the next phase in the bull cycle. So those are the crucial levels. Tomorrow I'll be making longer updates, but I hope you have enjoyed it. I hope you have enjoyed the two updates or the two scenarios on Bitcoin, which is taking the liquidity, reversing or bouncing towards 49.4 and just minimally consolidating that before we start taking out the highs and taking out the shorts, which are likely to going to get squeezed. I hope you have enjoyed it. I'll be back tomorrow with two fresh new updates. Don't forget to like and subscribe beneath.